Okay, welcome back. We're having a chat with Charlie Millwood now in regards to registration for votes and how that's changed and how that's affecting young people. Charlie, what can you what can you tell us? So, um, individuals are now responsible for registering themselves to vote, and this came into effect in June last year um, in England. Um, it has been estimated that 49 million voters have registered this year for the election, which is about a 7.5% increase from 2010, with figures suggesting around 45.6 million registered for that election. So, are more young people voting this time around, or sort of students, or do, do you know that information just um, yet? So, the most affected group by this new registration change is students. Um, there has been warnings leading up to the election that there is this confusion um, with students, whether they are registered to vote for their home, home. constituency mm. or whether they are registered here within their university mm -hmm. constituency. So um, previously universities would send lists of eligible voters, so, so the students, to local authorities, but now it's the students' responsibility. An electoral commission has suggested that um, students haven't done this, and so therefore they've missed, missed out, out on, the on their vote today. Because in 2010, only 44% of young mm. people voted. Yes, that's not did. a lot. No, and this worrying, this has been a challenge, and this has faced the election, um, and I think this will continue in further elections because students are just so confused they just don't know which way where, to go yeah, exactly. although I do feel like this time around perhaps that morale is a bit higher mm. amongst young people maybe yes. it's because yeah. you know the last election a yeah. lot of us young people <laughs> were a lot younger and we weren't yeah, able definitely. to vote but this time around I know a lot of you know on Facebook they've got this like I voted banner which means that everybody knows whether you voted yeah. or not maybe it's encouraging do you think that things like social media are encouraging young people to vote this time around oh definitely I, definitely I think students and young people are so involved and with the election and what's going on in the country but unfortunately by not being registered mm. they're not being, not being heard. heard and I think more needs to be done to ensure that even though it's now their own responsibility that they are somehow ensured that they do register for the vote because it is important and as you said social media they're so involved with it they they do want to become involved and that is very clear and obviously for a lot of young people and a lot of students as you said previously it's not just about registering in their home county they, it's getting there as well so yeah. it's whether if they're mm. registered at home a lot of students will not necessarily go home for example no. they'll sign up for a proxy vote get their parents yeah. to do it but if they haven't done that and their parents aren't actively involved with voting they won't have necessarily thought of that yeah is that often the case do you feel like a lot of students will kind of not register at home not register in their university town or or city and therefore just completely miss out yeah I, I do and I think especially with um, first year students they've just moved away from home they're getting used to all this independence um, so tr maybe having that their parents there helping them in their hometown would be better but um, obviously making these journeys some of them can be what eight hours away mm -hmm. and this can be extremely hard to get back to yeah so um, I think definitely trying to make it to local to where they are for their votes is prominent and is is definitely needed. In Estonia, they've um, they've recently introduced online voting. Okay. And um, in Australia, it's it's against the law not to vote. Mm. You have to vote. You yeah. get fined fi fined in Australia thirty. I think it's thirty dollars. So, do do you think that should be you know? Should that either of those policies be introduced into the UK to increase voter turnout? I mean, obviously, if it's compulsory to vote and there's a fine involved, yeah. students are going to want to vote, aren't they? Yeah, it's going to encourage people, and surely. I think, as I've said, students do want to get involved, so I don't think there would be a worry with, with the, the involvement. Fines, but I think the online aspect, particularly, would be such mm. good. Call out to young people. Definitely. And with the social media element of this election, it would be a great contribution to the voting. I think a lot more young people are getting involved with them, um, sort of other sort of news bodies bringing up funny videos and yeah. things like that. I think it's been great for the election so far. And yeah. thank you so much for your time, Thanks Charlie. Charlie. Um, so you. we are now going to head over to the social, our social media reporter, Charlie Suter Phillips, uh, to hear about what's going on up there.